The death of David Andall, a Republican candidate for District 8, came as a shock to many of his friends, family, and colleagues Monday. While the community continues to mourn, Andall's passing has raised questions regarding the November election. One of them being how to address his candidacy. Secretary of State Al Jager says though North Dakotans have voted and continue to do so, Andall's name cannot be removed from the ballot, which means all votes cast for him will be counted. If Andall is one of the top two recipients of votes in District 8, which covers part of the state east and north of Bismarck, he would be considered elected. While Jager says this situation hasn't happened in recent memory, there is state law that explains the protocol of what to do if he is elected. Obviously, he would not be able to serve, and so a vacancy would be declared. Under state law, there's a very specific process that allows the district political party to appoint somebody to fill that vacancy and allow that individual to represent the district uh, in the upcoming legislative session. And it was confirmed earlier today that Andal, who was 55 years old, died of coronavirus complications. If you have or are considering livestock risk protection insurance, there's some changes.